Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we kind of took a little bit of a pacing yesterday, but we did fairly well in a five skull assassinate mission. Took down a 150 tonner. Uh, I didn't get any salvage from that though, so no big deal, but um, we did do fairly well, although the Orion got both of its arms stripped off, which is a big pain in the butt. But that being said, we want to outfit the Kerberos slightly different than before. So I spent a little bit of time I went and sold, we needed sea bills. We were down to 36,000. So what I did is I went and sold all the, the uh, light and medium inner sphere mech salvage parts that we had uh, that we were never ever gonna use. I just sold them all. I made about 1.4 million, uh, which was enough to hit the financial report and move us to a different planet. We're gonna have a look at the star map right now. Um, and normally I don't sell those parts, but in this case we were in a kind of dire straits. Either we sell a mech or we sell parts. So I just got rid of the parts. So we were over here at, at uh, Lena Conning. It's 17 days away, uh, and it's got it's been fortified by Draconis Combine. We really can't do much there right now, but we can do a little bit here. Jade Falcon's a little bit behind Draconis Combine on this planet, so we're going to do some work here. It's a two and a half skull. I figure we take something a little easier today uh, while we get the mech sorted around. Now, the first thing I want to do, uh, I kind of have an idea of how I want to outfit the Kerberos, but we're going to need some sea bills for that. So we're going to go ahead and take a mission here today right away. And there's a three skull mission here, relatively simple. Um, hostile insertion. So we're going to go ahead and take this one. And I think what we're going to do, um, we're going to go one of four in a million sea bills. I want to make sure we have enough sea bills for our financial report. I, as you can see, I dropped a few of the mechs out of the, uh, um, I dropped them out of the lineup here. Oops, we want to bring this Timberwolf back in here. Kerberos can stay out, and the Nike Arrow can go to can take Rhino out. Let's bring Six Pack back in now that he's back. Uh, we were able to raise a few points up in some of the skills. So uh, Griffith's got Tactics 9. Um, Mockingbird, I believe we gave her Tactics 9. Or I think she already had that, I think. Uh, Sundance got some Tactics, and Six Pack got some Guts. So we we're, were able to raise ourselves up a little bit. This is really overkill for this mission. I think we'll be more than fine with this. So let's deploy and get this sucker done. All right, here we go. So we crashed on the way down, had to restart, but that's okay. Uh, I don't know why I'm analyzing the battlefield. It's not really gonna make a difference, I don't think. Let's just get moving forward here. We're pretty much set up for a long range fight here, so we don't have to worry too much. We don't have to close with these guys. I'm hearing vehicles on the left here. Alright. See what we're up against here. Still pretty quiet. There we go. Pegasus, medium range missile, Scorpion, Vargir, and Arrow Urban Mech. Ooh. That is interesting. Can we get eyes on the arrow? No. Not yet. Let's take care of this guy, though. Ooh, terrible chance to hit. It sure did. Another Pegasus back there. Make sure we're in the trees. Moving out. Busta now. All right, one hit, not bad. They've got a lock on me. Waiting for orders. Let's just make sure that, oh, uh, well, we can get a shot on the guy. Acknowledge. Make sure that guy with the arrow system can't uh, hit everybody here. Oof. We just shoot, let's just shoot him. Let's go with a better chance to hit, though. Firing. Acknowledge. I want to see if we can get that arrow system. Bandit. 
Come on, guys. Move it out, please. We got some money to make today. So these are supposed to be Corita. Corita vehicles and mechs. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, I think, handling these guys, with the exception of the Aero Urban Mech. I don't think there's really anything yet that's dangerous. Still one more guy up here somewhere in another vehicle, so. Wow, they're moving real slow, though. The guy's probably calculating his arrow fire. Nope. Backing up. Making a break for it, I guess. They've got a sensor lock on me. Pegasus SRM. Oh, they got a wasp back there. That's it, eh? It is a three skull, but doesn't seem that bad yet. Yeah. Ow. I can't take much more of this. Yeah, you can. And you're gonna. Alright, I'm gonna warlord this up. Offensive push. And let's go for this torso, because I want to rip the uh, torso off this guy if I can. Okay. One side down. Alright, let's get down to here. Uh, almost cord. Let's multi-target. Let's go after you. And I can't see this guy, really? Alright, we'll hit this guy then. Let's go like this. Firing. Okay, that should save the... Uh, okay, we got one hit. That should save the uh, arrow system. So far, it's about all I can see as I want for salvage right now. Affirmative. Um. Yeah, thunderbolt it. Let's go with the swarm. And yep. Nice. Cool. Supporting vehicle destroyed. All right, mockingbird left. Let's get down here, and then what do we got on this guy? 50%, eh? Well, let's give it a better chance to hit. Not really, there's nothing really here that's threatening us right now. Alright, two hits, not bad. Get a melee, huh? Yeah, pretty cool model. Brutus, okay. That's the guy we want to target next, I think. We'll get the night gear on him. That was the one thing that we were missing from that last big battle, is having the indirect fire I mean, I don't know if the Night Gear would have been able to take out the Yorman Gundir, but it definitely would have um, at least given a uh, ability to attack him before. Let's go. Before it caused too much of a problem on us. Um, 
That's a little better. Uh, let's take out this guy. Yeah, firing. Nice. I was worried there we weren't going to kill him. Alright, Mockingbird. Um, let's continue along here. Let's fire at the Titus over here. Or the Vargir, sorry. All four. Couple more hits. And six pack. On my way. Let's warlord this up, and we'll drop some on this guy. Gonna go with the uh, Artemis. Better chance to hit and fire. All right, that's a good start. Sundance. Let's cross the road. Keep our face to these guys, and let's shoot this guy. And we're going to warlord this because we can. And fire. Nicely done. Reporting critical hit. Four juicy hits. Thank you. Alright, they're down to five. Shouldn't be too much of a problem here. So my thoughts for the uh, Kerberos, um, I want to go the Rack 5 route. We've got, ooh, we've got a pair of uh, Inner Sphere Rack 5s that we can use, so we can get some cl clan versions that is. And once we get some clan versions we can replace them, if we get clan versions. But uh, put a couple Rack 5s in and then we'll see where, where we can go from there. The Orion, I think we're going to load out a little differently. So the Kerberos will be the main uh, main mech for the main lance. We might move the Timberwolves down and go with uh, one like super heavy lance with like slow movement, a lot of armament, and then go with a faster heavy lance. We'll have to see how it goes. Let's take this guy out if we can. Yeah, firing. Just got to make sure. Okay. Don't think you need to move at all. Yeah, let's drop some shiz on this guy. Ah, miss. Waiting for orders. Sorry, buddy, but uh, goodbye. Mech destroyed. Or Mech obliterated. Or get destroyed. Yeah, we can make a super fast lance. And we got the ability to do that. A couple of timber wolves. I mean, we could pull another storm crow out. Two Timberwolves, two storm crows. All right, hammer this guy. Yeah, Mockingbird. Shoot this guy. Oh, maybe not. Uh, yes, Commander. All right, Sunday. Let's just get back over here. I can do more damage shooting than I can uh, stepping, which is the whole reason why I don't step. Reporting. Enemy not with Climax, anyway. Ready for orders. Not with Climax. All right, firing on this guy. There we go. Enemy vehicle destroyed. 
So I think on the uh, Kerberos we want to put a void system. Can I get a shot in this guy, eh? Can you get a shot? You can get a shot. You get a headshot, and you get a headshot. See ya. Alright, there it is, folks. Cool mill. Okay, 880. I thought we were going to get more. 881,000. Not bad. Yeah, lousy XP. No big deal. Okay, and there's the arrow. Nice. We still have ammo, so we're cool with that. And I don't think there's anything else really that's like completely amazing that we want out of here. Arrow fast cam, are you kidding me? Let's hope we get that. We got it too. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh my god, that's awesome. And a core, which we can sell. Cool. Alright, so that's awesome. Okay, so we took the planet from Karita. Nice. Let's have a look. 50,000 in repairs. Three days. Not bad. Not bad. Here's the night gear that took most of the damage. Let's have a look here. We we're only a little bit behind Karita, so because we were just fighting against them, it should be enough to... Right here. Yeah, we just kind of flipped the numbers around a little bit. So that's kind of cool. Let's see if we can take some more missions against Karita. So we're going to... Uh, we're still short of our uh, financial reports, which means we're not going to have enough money to um, um, work on the Kerberos just yet. Uh, plus, we need to get the um, we need to get the Orion back. Let's manage our tasks a bit. Let's move this Orion back up. Get that done. All right. So let's get our mechs and pilots back here. Let's just get them. Well, yeah, mechs and pilots. Okay. So we got them all back except for the pilots. God, it takes longer to get the pilots back now than it does the mechs. All right, let's have a look here. Uh, see, there's something we can take really quick here. That's at least half decent in skull. Settling a grudge against the local pirates in the jungle. It's a battle. Sure, why not? Let's go settle a grudge. It's a good payout. We're going to go this route. We need the sea bills. So let's accept this. We don't have much we can sell right now. I sold a whole bunch of stuff in order to get the Kerberos up and running. We had like six million, and then we blew it all. <laughs> um, I'm gonna run the main lance again, just because. All right, let's kill these guys fast and get out of here. Most likely we're going to have reinforcements. Let's get a move on. I'm going to get ready to... Yeah. So, I think what we can do after, right after this mission is we'll probably get a few things started on the Kerberos and have them fixed and updated by the time the uh, um, Orion is fixed because I want to pull some stuff off the Orion. In order to uh, outfit the Kerberos, but I want the Orion also in a state that I can start fix it, working on it. Like, you know, once we get the Kerberos up and running. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. When don't we have hostile contacts inbound, Darius? See what we got here: a Griffin, a Raven, a Javelin, and a Raptor. Well, Griffin it is, cause yo, man. Uh, let's Warlord this. Let's do an offensive push because we can. And see what we can do here. Took one in the face. Large laser in the face. Definitely not good for morale. Um... Crab and a raptor too. Uh, let's see what our chances to hit are. 
54 across the board there. Lousy over there. 60 on the Griffin, but we're going to use the larges on the Griffin. 60 on this guy, though. Let's go with the 54 across the board, and we're going to switch to, to uh, Artemis ammo, and um, let's just fire. Nice hit. Oof. See ya. That's a kill. That is a kill. Let's see if we can take his head off. Not today. Still got four more shots. Standing by. Uh, gotta be a better chance to hit. Really? I guess if I sprint? But then if I sprint, I kind of lose my, uh... Well, that's fine. Affirmative. I kind of lose the walking bonus. Minefield damage, really. Well... Let's go after his head, see what we can do. Affirmative. Ah, well. Inflicted some heavy damage. I almost thought for a second there we got it. He's no Griff, what, or she's no Griff, that is. Roughneck, hey? Eh? You know, we could put a couple of arrow systems on the Kerberos, too. I think it's got two missile launchers. Could you imagine? I mean, railgun and a pair of arrows with minefields and infernos and a craziness. But then at that point, it would just be a support mech. I think I want it to be a destroyer of worlds more than a, than a support mech. So a pair of racks, a pair of rack fives and um, the railgun. Plus, we'll see what else we can fit in there. Maybe a couple of ER large lasers. Just spitballing. There's got to be one more guy over here. Get a melee, huh? You punk. No, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't do anything, though. He took 42 from mines, though. Alright, fire just fire on the side of this guy. Get out of that damn minefield, please. Yeah, just fire straight in this guy. Copy that. By. Let's not get into the minefield. I'm there. Fire on this raptor that's trying to flank us. Sure did. I have no idea what it was, but it was something. Alright, let's see what we got here. Javelin we can hammer with missiles. Oh, maybe we go after this guy. We could always split fire. We'll just see what our chances to hit are here. Night gear, a little gear will do ya. Let's move up here. And what do we got here? 25, 54, 67, 
Uh, let's multi-target. Let's go out to this guy and this guy and the B's will be these ones and the A will be that and let's fire. Splitting fire. Ooh. See ya. I think I hit something good. I think you did too. That Thunderbolt 20 is not work is working pretty good against mechs that don't have AMS. I mean, these guys are light and medium mechs too, so I mean, you're just expecting it to work well. All you gotta do is connect for that big 100. Let's go! Just back your ass up. Yo, Javelin, back that ass up. Raptor. Whole lot of nothing going on. Oh, Marauder, okay. Maybe we can get a good piece of salvage out of this after all. Let's take this guy down so these other guys can't see us. We're still in minefield, eh? God damn it. See ya! Stay out of the damn minefield. You know what? I bet you these guys can't see us now, Mo. So we're just going to get up here. And let's just snipe these guys. Oh man, four hits. Oh, they can't see us. It's game over, guys. He ain't pushing all these large lasers and getting away with it. Standing by. Let's get a direct line of sight, and we're gonna warlord it just because. Why not? Better chance to hit and fire. Firing all Inflicted some heavy damage. You most certainly did. We're getting closer together now. Maybe we could use the swarm. I don't know. That's the minefield. Let's not go over there. Stay out of the mines. The mines. Firing. All right, so let's target this guy again. I'm gonna use a swarm this time because they are grouped around each other. In all oh, see ya. Enemy down. Sure is. Good to go. There's the mag, just fire him. We're only getting one out of four out of out of this match, so it's not like. If we destroy them, like we're losing anything. Rolling. Roughneck, 65. Crab. Crab's getting close. Let's just target the crab. Maybe we can pull him down. Hmm. Stay out of the minefield. <sighs> Good enough. Ready for orders. That's the Marauder. We're working on the crab, right? Crabby, crabby, crabby. 
Um, let's just go with the arrow. Way better chance to hit. Thunderbolt hit. That's nice. That hit something good. Sure did. Yeah, I remember the day when those thunderbolts, they were the big boys on the block. Now they ain't so much. Giving them everything I've got. Look at that armor just drop. Solid connection on that one. Going down. Crabby, crabby, crabby. Someone's going to die. And let me give you a hint, it ain't going to be me. You're here, you're there, you're everywhere, and this guy is dead. Firing all Mech destroyed. All right. Who the marauder disappeared? Okay, some good hits. Waiting for orders. You can see I'm fine. What if we move over a bit? No, it's really just from here, I gotta say. Alright. That's all right. Ten four. Bet that hurt. Okay, let's just back up. Ordinance received. We'll walk it back, and then we'll get Sundance over Bet here. Same position. Gonna tag team this guy, you're firing. Roughnecks having a rough time of it. <laughs> ah. Alright, firing. Oh, there's a hundred damage. And yeah, the night gear. My god, it's getting so many kills this match. It's completely in its element at this point. It just it just totally in its element at this point. All right, targeting this guy. Yeesh. Commander. Sorry if this is really boring for you guys, but uh, I don't know how else to play this one. I mean, we could move in, but that's just taking damage. And wow, Mockingbird, what's going on? You got used to the Kerberos, that's what it is. Oh, I can't hit him from there. Oh, here. I copy. Stay out of the mines. Locking in all the Waiting for orders. Six pack. Possible damage, we ain't moving nowhere. What are you talking about. Oh, 99. That looked like a CT hit to me. Still coming. And what else can you really do? Can't turn around. What's up, boss? Just kill this guy, please. Here it comes. Going down? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's move you over here. We may have to move forward here. Standing by. No, we're okay. You'd have been blocking the shot anyway, but firing. Gotcha. Wasn't gonna miss that one. Target. All right, there's some coins. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by twenty percent. That's awesome. One point one four million. Yeah, a little bit of XP, no real damage. What I'm interested in seeing, though is what we got here uh roughneck parts marauder parts ams anything good down here ecm energy double plus blah. patchwork materials maybe reinforced legs this is kind of cool plus 10 percent armor 
and structure to the location, but they weigh 10% of one tenth of the chassis weight. So this would be like one ton if we put these on the, each one of these would be one ton if we put them on the, uh, on the Kerberos. Any good ammo? Doesn't look that way. Nope. So let's take the Marauder part. Where are you here? There you are. Take that. A couple Raptor, well Raptor, Roughneck part, Endo Steel. Meh. Okay, we wouldn't have been doing anything to this planet, um, uh, reputation-wise or anything. It was local government versus the pirates. Uh, nothing really there. Thirty-six thousand in repairs. Let's manage our tasks. Let's get make sure we got the Orion. Eleven days. So let's have a quick look at the Kerberos. I want to get this up and up at least repaired and ready to go before the next episode. So we got enough to do that, I think, now and enough for the financial report. So, Kerberos, where are you? Right here. It's the OMG pirate, man. OMGP. Okay, so let's start pulling some stuff. So we gotta leave this ammo. I wanna leave the Goss ammo. I got a reason for that. Um, so we're gonna leave those on and let's go down to our rack fives. It's gonna come out to 30 tons as soon as we put them on. Where are they here? Uh, a rotary AC5. They're like 15 each, right? 14 each. Pretty darn close. Um, I was hoping to put a, a void system in this thing. It's just not going to happen. We're going to pull off the uh, defensive gyro. Let's go and grab... Um, we have to. There's no other way to do this if we want to do it. Uh, where are you here? We couldn't get the Nova in here? Or we didn't have an ECM in here? That was the case, I think. Put the Nova in. Oh, we don't even have space now, man. What the hell? Uh, we'll figure that out in a second here. <laughs> oh, man. So much space being used up by just shiz. Um, let's go with... Um, damn, man. Where is, where is my gyro? I can't, I won't be able to put the extra light gyro in it anyway. I don't have the space. So Pharaoh's got to come out. And we don't have the slots for it here either. Has to stay with the def defensive gyro. Wow. Okay, what's our heat right now? It's actually pretty damn good. Do we need this? Maybe. Nah, not really. That gives us three tons, which is not, not enough rack ammo. There's no way. I guess we could pull out some Goss ammo, but it's not going to leave. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Um... Because right now we don't have a uh, ECM, but we really need to have one. Oh man, really? We could drop the engine weight. We got a 300 right now. Let's go to uh, cores. We're going to be woefully underpowered at this point too, right? That's going to give us some half decent uh, weight back, but we're going to need this. We're going to need space for ammo and case. Let's pull the patchwork to give us some more space. Um, you can always pull a lot of the back armor off too. Not a lot, but some. 
Um, so that's gonna let's take off 0.75 tons. We just kind of go this way, this way, and this way. All right, so that gives us four tons. Not enough rack ammo. We can put two double tons in, but we still need to get a... Uh, like if we leave... It's five tons of ammo. Two double tons is 68 rounds plus... A regular Gauss is another 15, 78, 83. It's less than we had before. How do we get more weight out of this thing? Um, still don't have a stealth system either. We have no stealth. Oh, man. Because really with these racks, you'd want to have, like, you'd want to go with, uh, where are you here? Where are you? Oh, I went, what's, that's all. Where's the rest? Where are you? You know what? Let's put the core back and the e-cooling for a second. Because I want to try something here. Take these off. Okay, we want this. Requires clan fire control system, which is easy enough to put in because we have one right here. We want to go with the breacher, obviously. And let's get the um, this guy in here because we're definitely going to need stealth. Okay, so just humor me here for a minute. Actually, let's go. Do we have another different clan fire control system? We're going to need to increase the engine weight for what I want to do as well. So, um, we only have the advanced clan. All right, fair enough. That that'll have to go, that'll have to do. So, let's increase our core. This is 23 tons. 86. No, it's too big. 320 maybe. 78 tons, maybe, maybe. It's not going to give us what I want, though. Um, let's leave the 300 in. So let's go to our weapons. Um, Humor me for a second. I wanted to get another one in the head, but we can't do it. Uh, this exchanger's got to stay in for now. So let's go with... Uh, that's only four. But what we can do is... Uh, where are we here? Got an upper energy which we can put in. Uh, clan exchanger, that's what we want. Let's put take the other one out. Um, we want prototype double heatsink kit. We're going to drop that in. And we're going to load up with some prototype double heatsinks. We got lots. Let's get a few of them in here. I really should be putting case um, in the torsos with this. But we're going to have to deal without it. So heat efficiency, Alpha Strike 92, heat sinking 78, 
100 tons. So we got a breacher with plus two accuracy on all the weapons. Um, more accuracy on this ER large laser. It's really underwhelming, isn't it? So we had two times 75 with the Gauss rifles and one times 70 with the PPC before. Right, and now we got four times 60. It's slightly more damage, it's like 20 more damage, but um, that railgun really makes it things restrictive, eh? I really wanted to put the racks in this thing. It's really space prohibitive too. Like if we go back, like this, like the cost is nothing to make this change. Let's go back real quick. Okay, so problem this with this build is no space and lack of ammo. I mean, we did okay in the other match, but we didn't fire every single turn. And I don't like that. I don't like not being able to fire. That's very problematic for me. Um, what else do we have ballistic-wise that we could utilize here? I mean, we had the Ultras, the Ultra 5s. Now they're lighter than the Gauss rifles and basically split the damage of a Gauss rifle. They do more damage overall. So we could put a, like three of these in for, for, the, for two of the uh, Gauss rifles. Then we need case and, and ammo and space. We have no space, that's the problem. Uh, okay, let's just, well, what's the heat on these things again? Eight heat, and these are like five, right? Six. Let's pull this off. Let's just try something. If you go with an Ultra 5 build, right? Then we're going to need, you know what we're going to need? We're going to need to make sure that the hard drive when we're recording isn't already full and I have no idea how it was full but we lost the rest of the recording and I'm pissed I am pissed anyway tune in tomorrow and you can you guys can see how we ended up loading this out this is just anyway I'm uh, gonna be reformatting my drive tomorrow so uh, yeah anyway gonna end the episode here <laughs> hope you enjoyed it ah man it was just trying to figure out the build for this Kerberos. Anyway, turn in, tune in tomorrow and you can check out how we have it now. Okay? Alright, see you tomorrow.